community, my name is Christian and here we are again with another video about watches. There you go, and uh, I am gonna uh, identify another man who was involved in MK Ultra, Christian. The last videos. Christian Carlo is his name. There you go. Let's have a fun. Uh, he is from Argentina. Uh, I'm thinking about the guy from Miami who was Argentinian, and uh, he w he was a humorist, and he would always say Argentina. Um, anyhow, I posted a lot of comments. Uh, I did make some mistakes. It was quite difficult actually to identify him due to so many people that were involved in MKUltra also from Argentina. Uh, but uh, past all these comments here, um, I am just going to round it up the whole thing. Yeah, I would agree with this stuff here. Uh, except there's one thing. Bellin de Escobar and Campania, I did not look for that. Okay, you could be closer to Buenos Aires. One time, long time ago, the Buenos Aires, of course, also was not so big. Uh, so it could be that it's closer from this outskirts of Buenos Aires to Buenos Aires. Yes. Um, they originally are from the outskirts of Buenos Aires, suburbs of Buenos Aires. But to summarize all this stuff about who this family is, etc., 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 I just posted him a comment here right now. I will not forget his father, whom I have promoted, uh, and uh, who became adventurous enough right after, not much after meeting the wife, therefore, mother of Christian Carlo. Uh, decided to move up north, uh, try actually to Rosario. Rosario, for me, the situation between the Rosario and Buenos Aires was something like between what I witnessed to in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. You know, Miami is like older, you know, but uh, Fort Lauderdale was just a place that was rapidly developing throughout my stay in the United States of America. And that's exactly what the Rosario was too. Rosario, everything in the Rosario appeared to us, to his father and to me, like new. Like everything was growing, new apartment buildings and everything. Like a little promised land, land of opportunities. And so, yeah, he did this in 1997, probably. Not even 1998, but 1997. And did very well. I think he had something to do with the computers. And uh, before you know, he had his family also following up with him and moving to, you know, small, small, uh, small Cristiano, small, small, small Christian Carlo moved with his little sister also to a. Uh, Rosario. So uh, then the family got all together. He started, he tried this already in 1996. It was like going to the wild, wild west sort of adventure to when it comes to Rosario. And yes, I was there. I was the one through whom uh, he made it to Rosario. So this is all I have to say in respect to all these comments here, which I'm going to record this anyways. I don't want anybody to get me wrong in absolutely any way. Uh, there was just so many people involved in it. Um, <clears throat> that's all there is to it. There is nothing else I would say to this. Let's go and see his channel a little bit. So this is a man identified all the way to, uh, well... To Buenos Aires and also Rosario. Look at him. He 
he knew all about my watch, about my Casio watches and stuff like that, and had pledged to help me with a very nice guy, a beautiful sister, I must say. She probably is married. Um, all right. So I'm going to say to Christian Carlo, Cristiano, muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Arrivederci. Maybe the date and time. January the 23rd, 2024. Amazing. When I think about the days, that was actually 1996. He would go, I think, even to visit his father, would even go to visit customers. You know, the way he got an idea about uh, this place here about uh, Rosario, he would travel, he was a technician of some kind, and he would travel to do some work to Rosario. And then one time, because it really was like a land of opportunity, he decided he would give it a shot. So he started first, and very shortly after, it was the family that also joined him from Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, that's like a good air. Buenos Aires!